Hey there, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris. Today I want to talk about an amazing timepiece. This is the Christopher Ward Dune 65 Full Bronze Cosk. It is a watch that, as I said, is made of bronze fully, including the bracelet. And when I saw this online on their website, I thought, oh my God, I gotta try this. I gotta put it on my wrist. And it is what I did. I'm gonna go into specs, but this is mainly a real life experience um, feedback of how much I like this watch, the things that I like, the things that I like a little less, and how I was to wear it for over a month on my wrist. The first thing is that it is, as I said, COSC. It is cost, and that means Contrôle Officiel Suisse des Chronomètres, which is a certification that tells you that your movement is going to be anywhere between minus four to plus six seconds per day. That is the range that you're gonna be gaining or losing in terms of uh, time. I was shocked <laughs> in a good way to see that this timepiece, I've had it for you know 18 days straight on my wrist. I did not change the time on purpose. I had it on me sometimes for sleeping, sometimes I left it for half a day in the case and so forth to see, you know, how much time it would gain or lose. I was pleased to notice that I've been gaining one second per day, one second. This is better than my high-end timepieces, literally. This is not just cost, this is incredibly hard to beat. Somehow I've been only gaining one second per day and that, my friends, is what I call impressive. The movement is a Celita SW200-1 automatic. It has a date at six o'clock. The date at six o'clock is very well integrated to the watch. I find it great because it is not obvious that it's there. It is tiny enough, but I like the fact that it has the same color as the dial, that green in this case, or blue if you take the blue version. So it is a very nice date window. The movement has a 38 power reserve and that might be the only con that I can find in this watch because that is not a lot of power reserve. So either you keep it on a self winder that will keep it winded for you or uh, you wear it often because if you don't wear this watch for more than a day and a half you will have to set the time and the date again. The case is 38 millimeters and it is not just 38 millimeters it is 38 millimeters with a lock to lock of 43.6 which means that it will fit greatly tiny wrists like mine. I have a wrist that's under 17 centimeters. It is very enjoyable to wear. It looks good. It looks like it's a, a good fit, a good match for my wrist. And that is hard to say for a lot of watches nowadays. The case is made of bronze and it has an open case back. An open case back, by the way, is a great addition to this watch because very often I see timepieces made of bronze that don't have an open case back. It's just like, you know, stainless steel or, you know, um, it's great, but I like to see the heart of this watch beating um, and the contrast with the bronze is just great. So it is an open case bag showing the Colimassonne finish on the rotor and the movement. It is brushed and polished, which is great for a bronze timepiece, and it has a steel case bag. Some of you might wonder why the, the back is made of stainless steel instead of bronze, since the whole band is made of bronze, so it's anyways going to leave marks on your wrist. And I think the reason is if you go with a model that doesn't have the, the bracelet made of bronze, for example, NATO or leather, then you won't have any mark left on your wrist. It has a height of 11.9 millimeters, which is great. It's just enough. And the weight, including the bracelet, is 152 grams. I have to say the combo, the way they... they they made this watch, the measurements, the, you know, the way, the size, the, the height is just perfect. I've got nothing to say. And it does remind me of more expensive timepieces, if I have to be honest. It has a glass box sapphire crystal, which once again looks great. It reminds me of older timepieces from back in the day. So that is great. And it has a screw down crown, obviously, that is stamped with the twin flag motive of Christopher Ward. One thing about the screw down crown is usually I see that as a quality marker of the watch to see how good the watch is. Because often and again, I've I see screw down crowns or just crowns are very flimsy when you pull them out and it feels like they're going to break any time, where in this one feels well made, well built and of good quality. So that is actually great for this price range. By the way, if you want me to review any other watch for Christopher Ward, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. For example, they came out with their Lumière that has an amazing loom that I would love to see in real life. Let's now talk about the dial. It has a lollipop seconds hand with the signature trident counterbalance. I 
really like lollipop second hand or anything that has a little dot a little flake or anything that that moves along with the second hand because at night when you look at the watch with the loom or without the loom you see that little dot moving around that looks just great it has an aero hour hand that looks good too the model version that i have here is the green one which they call beach grass sunray Sunray because when you put this under the sunlight or a direct strong source of light, it gives you this shiny reflections um, with the indexes shining all over the place. It just looks amazing. And if you pair that with the fact that it is a bronze timepiece, that it's going to age, that it's going to patina, you're going to have the inside of the watch that's going to be shiny and glowing all over the place. And the outside is going to be toned down and more, uh, more patina. And that contrast is something that I really, really enjoy looking at every time I have it on my wrist. Another thing is the loom. The loom on this watch is very similar to more pricey watches that I've owned or that I've reviewed at, you know, higher price point. It is lasting long enough for you to see it throughout the night. If at some point you, let's say you sleep with your watch, I do. Okay, I have to know the time always. So either it's a G-Shock or it's a nice timepiece. Either way, I always have a watch with me. And um, this one, if you wake up during the night, you are going to see what time it is. Same if you're, I don't know, at a party, um, if you're with friends, or if you're walking in, a, in an area that has very little light, you're going to see the time perfectly. You have loom on the indexes, on all the hands, it is just perfect. And at six o'clock, there's a little tiny rectangle that still shows you what time it is under the date window. Let's not talk about the bracelet, shall we? Because it is a special one. This is the first time that Christopher Ward produces a bronze bracelet. And by the way, if anyone from Christopher Ward is watching this video, guys, you've got to make more of these. These are just great. Uh, you got other timepieces that are made of bronze. And I think they should also get this bracelet. It is just too nice not to have it. Back to the video. It is 20 millimeters wide and it is slightly tapered down and it has a micro adjustable ratchet clasp and screwed links. Um, I think it's very convenient to have that clasp because you can adjust it on the fly. Let's say you go on holidays or you go, you know, you're out of your house for a while and you can just adjust it for example in summer i've been adjusting it a bunch of times when it was really hot uh and my wrists were a little bit you know too big too wide because of the heat i would just open up a little bit the clasp and it would just be perfect and when it got a little bit cooler i could just close it down so that is just great and the screwed links it is good but just make sure that you screw them down properly because a couple of times they were starting to come off so i had to screw them down a little bit more but otherwise it is just a, an amazing bracelet. You can see how inside it's starting to patina. It's way darker, obviously, because it is always in contact with your skin. And I'm going to tell you more about that in a second. But uh, yeah, the inside is more uh, patina than the outside. But the outside is slowly starting to patina as well. I've had this now, as I said, for over three weeks and um, in three weeks this is how it looks by the way i made a little video a quick little video when i received the watch to show you how it looked when i received it and you can then compare how it is now here we go so i received this watch and i i just wanted to show a little bit how it looks before the patina because at the time of the actual review uh this watch will have patina quite a lot so the way i received it it looks very rose goldish uh, very nice actually and um, you can see a couple points here where you can already see a little bit of patina starting to happen like here um, but otherwise it's pretty uh, pristine it's in pristine conditions you can see the side here beautifully uh, shining with the lights of the studio reflecting on it so it is actually a beautiful timepiece uh, as it is now I'm a, a, a big fan i'm a sucker for bronze because of the fact that it ages so much and so well and it looks so much different at all times no two watches are the same so we'll see how this looks in a bit um, when i do my review with the patina uh, all over the watch but yeah that's how it looks it has a water resistance rating of 15 bar which is 150 meters or 500 feet this is great. It is a watch that you can basically use for anything. You can use it for swimming. You could use it for showering. You could use it for the pool. Uh, yeah, you name it. 
150 meters is a good rating. It has a screw down crown, so you're not going to have any problem with water getting into your watch. And that's something very, very cool. Now, how fast is this watch going to patina? There are different degrees of patina. Obviously, you can go down all the way to almost being green. There are ways to force patina this watch. I did not want to do this on this model specifically because I wanted to see and tell you guys uh, how long it will take to patina. With the regular usage, hot and cold, meaning it was still summer and then now we're in fall. So there's been a little bit of a transition of temperature between the seasons and me wearing this watch. After three to four weeks, you can see here how it looks. Now, the video may not give it justice uh, as I would want it to, but uh, you, you can see that it's really starting to get darker uh, around the bezel, inside the crown, on the sides, obviously, and the bracelet itself is turning dark slowly, bit by bit, especially on the sides and on the inside, obviously, because that's what's in contact with your skin and the sweat and all that. But um, yeah, it will take several months probably to turn real dark. Uh, so that's one thing. And by the way, is it going to leave marks on your wrist? The answer is yes, you will have some green marks on your wrist. That's inevitable because it is bronze and when you sweat, you will see it. You can see on this photo that I shot with my iPhone here that uh, there is a little bit of marks. Now, that was a day that I've been outside the entire day. It was it was hot. I was giving a uh, photography course. And I mean, yeah, you will have some marks. You take a little bit of water, you just pass it on and it's gone. So it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to be a big issue where you have like green all over. It's a huge mark, you know, unless it's a, a really hot day uh, and you've been sweating under the sun and so forth. But even like that, you just pass a little rag or put it under water and you're good to go. So not a, not an issue. That was a problem that I was, you know, a question I was asking myself, is it gonna leave marks on my clothes and all that? And I don't think so, I haven't had that problem. Also, when you're wearing long sleeves, it usually is because it is cold outside or it's not that hot. <laughs> so if it's not cold, you're not gonna sweat so much, so you're not gonna have any marks. And the part that sweats the most is the inside that's in contact with your skin, not the outside. So don't worry too much about that. There's a new section I want to talk about here in this video that I will start implementing in all my future videos, and that is the perception of the real versus the website. How is this watch in real life compared to how it is on the website? Okay, guys, this one, honestly, hands down, it looks better in real life. It looks amazing on the website, but it is not fake. I feel like the photos they took and they show on the website are very similar to what you're going to get in real life, and the fact that it's bronze, it means that it's going to patina. And to me, the more it patinas, the more beautiful. That's my personal, honest opinion, okay? So I do think that you're going to get a timepiece that looks like it is on the website. It is not embellished. It is not uglier. It is just as nice, if not better. One thing, though, the dial is beautiful when you look at it with enough light, for example, outside or with a strong source of light. But when you look at it in the darker area, it almost looks blue and it, it tends to be really dark. That green or the blue the, tends to be really dark. So just think with that. Another thing that comes to mind is, is this bracelet comfortable? Well, I'm going to name drop here, but uh, it reminds me of my Tudor Black Bay bracelet. It looks very similar. And when I say very similar, I mean, it looks almost the same. Even the whole manufacturing of this watch looks extremely similar to my Tudor. Um, for the price range, again, it, it, it feels good on the wrist. If you set it to the right size, it, it is just comfortable, flushed. The lock to lock makes it just perfect on your wrist. If you have a small wrist, which means anyone with a bigger wrist will also look good. There, I hope I answered all your questions that you had about this Christopher Ward C65 bronze model. If you have any other questions, write down in the comment section below. I'll answer gladly. Don't forget to tell me which other watch you want me to review from Christopher Ward. And until then, take care, keep smiling, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.